there is nothing quite romantic like getting your first date to be buying slaves at the slave market. Not just any slave, a child slave. And for what reason are we getting a child slave? So that Zanuba can indulge in his degenerate figurine making hobbies. So now we have Julie. And now a lot of people are fucking upset. A lot of Twitter warriors are very upset. But if you think about it, a lot of fucked up shit happened in season one too. So this shouldn't be that much of a surprise. And the best part, I hear that this episode is supposed to be even more fucked up. So, oh boy. Oh, the drama gonna be good. Let's begin today's reaction, though. This is where she does her morning uh, cardio routine. She gets a little hat on and she runs outside. How do I know this? We've been watching a lot of Annie News cut content from the light novels. Oh, she wears the hat, though. The hat, you're forgetting the hat. Oh, let's see, 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 guys, see, guys. And then that's why Rudy never really saw. Well, Rudy was like outside once, like doing the swordsmanship training. And he saw uh, her, but she didn't, he didn't recognize. The cardio training is actually important because like as a magician, if you run out of stamina, you're done. Like, she's talking about, you know, understanding the, the geography, but. There he is, there's Rudy right there. See, he got his own little morning routine. I wonder how good the princess is at using magic though. How capable. <laughs> so cute. Wonder if Erina Rize fucked Luke yet. I recently, that's not in it easy though, is it? D did you? Hmm. <laughs> His dad did it. Yeah, that don't give a fuck, bro. Paul's gonna fuck whoever he wants. <laughs> Are you ever gonna reveal your identity to him? Aww. Same for Rudy, except, you know, it's a fit senpai. Huh? What do you mean? Yeah. Oh. Go on. Go on. What are you thinking about? Indecent thoughts. <laughs> Even her ears get blushed from the tip of her ears. Oh my god, the detail. Julie, incantationless magic. Come on, girl. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Remember, you develop a child like magic at a young age, right? Mana pool increases, easier to incantationless. Couldn't she technically join like the special students at the school soon? She's fast. Uh oh. What? 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 Passion? <laughs> Look at Julie. What is this? Oh! I love Zanuba's voice actor, man. Like, his voice actor goes insane. Julie, still. Mm, 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 mm. What up to Roxy figurine? What, did, did he break it? He probably broke it, right? He broke it, too, didn't he? What? This voice actor is insane. What happened to Roxy? <laughs> Not even in like how many bits? What did you do? Even her hair stranger, he like took her apart little by little. Even Julie's like, yo, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh, Julie's scared of Rudy at this moment. Oh. No, no, I think I don't know why he would do that though. Like, he, like, Zanuba, like, picked it apart bit by bit. Uh -huh. Oh, right, because those two girls pretty much, like, not bully, but, like, beat Zanuba, and now Zanuba is super submissive to them. Maybe that was... He wagered Roxy, and he lost, so they... they... <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but it's so ridiculous. <laughs> this is hilarious, though. So the cat girl and the dog girl, you know. Oh, good Zanuba. But the cat girl and the dog girl broke it, right? It's not like a revenge. Revenge time? Oh. Yes. Blood must be shed. <laughs> well, we could just make a new one, right? But it's, I mean, we still gotta get revenge, right? Wow, first time that I don't see the dog girl eating something. She always just has a bag of food, but oh shit, here we go. <laughs> what is that stance, bro? What are Mew looking at? You can smell that? 
倒さすんでねえ。<laughs> oh, you threaten our figurines? Uh uh. Nah. What's he gonna do, bro? Yeah, you bullies. 2v1. Yeah, cowards. I can't believe we're picking a fight right now. Kill? Nah, over a figurine? Come on now. Uh uh. Are we gonna do an actual duel? <gasps> oh, that, that's low key racist, bro. That's so racist. What? Even the fountain stopped. That was out of pocket, Rudy. <laughs> Some people would actually love that treatment. Doggo. Oh, we can see her, though. What was the person about to do there? Damn, Rudy! The demon eyes obviously help, but they, I didn't realize that we had such good physical abilities. It's over? Oh, come on. Bro, you can't be doing that at the end. Oh. I feel kind of bad. We just shoot a little pellet at them and they just get knocked out. Now what? Uh, Julie? Are... What are we doing right now? Are we kidnapping them? She, Julie's probably like, hey, what the fuck are we doing right now? Um, they are, I guess. Also, kind of shows that Rudy's grown a lot too, but we actually kidnapped them? Oh, this is... Are you sure we should be doing this? Uh, <laughs> what are we doing, bro? Bro, don't tell me that your dick is gonna work because of this situation. This is okay. If his dick actually started working right now, it would have been just like, how do you defend this character, Rudy, right? Like, what the fuck? No, no, not that kind of punishment. That's only in the, you know, Rule 34s, but. What are we doing? It's not creepy! It was made with labor of love. Yes. Our goddess. The sacred. Are we gonna show the sacred relic? We're not gonna show them our sacred. <laughs> Bro, that's too much. <laughs> I wonder how Roxy would think if she was seeing this right now. Like, bro, you have a fucking shrine for my panty. <laughs> We're making Julie cry. Apologize. Atone for your sins. Shame on you. Oh, you snitch. Oh, you snitch. Oh, they're turning on each other. My foot slipped. Oh, it just happened to... Well, you still stomped it, though. Oh, your dad and crap. We know them. We know them. Trust me. True. He fucking gaslit us. They totally gaslit us. Oh, no. Are we going to actually do that to them? No, you wouldn't do that to them. No, you can't be doing that shit. Oh. I don't care what happened. See, she is not a good friend at all, bro. She's just constantly throwing Linny under the bus. Oh, I feel bad. Look at her droopy ears. Oh. How is it possible? That is an impossible thing to do. For them, I think. But even Julie's getting into it. I'm sorry, Sophie. Yep. Yes, we've kidnapped the cat and dog girls. Yes. Uh, no, it's not the wrong idea. It's exactly what you did. You tried to kind of just to test if your dick would work. That's kind of How do you defend his actions, man? It was an objective test. That's that's right. It's not like that. Uh, that's fine. That's Sophie, you're fine with this? Sophie, you're taking this way too easily, too. Why are they wet? They pissed themselves? Did they piss themselves? What's what's why are they wet? Oh, I feel so bad for the cat girl. Oh no, Lydia. All right, because she always has to keep eating, right? Oh. 
Oh, this we're so cruel. This is so cruel. We gotta let him go. Just let him go, man. <laughs> Dry their panties. This is what are we doing? What are, what are we doing right now? <laughs> the dick's not working still. Okay. Wow. She's a uh, quite the traditionalist, you know. And she keeps throwing Linia under the bus. Linia, careful. <laughs> Oh, we're boss now? That's... I don't mind that, actually. Yeah, this is some terrible conditions, man. Feed them! Oh? Fitz is getting into this. Nuni. Oh, no, Fitz, no! Our ears! Oh. Wow. 100% domesticated. Like, we're just training a dog and a cat right now. Huh? That's it. A unibrow and a mustache. Yo, this almost feels like we're, like, engraving these, like, shit to, like, slaves, you know? It's kind of fucked up. Okay, it's only a one-day thing, all right. <laughs> they look ridiculous. They look ridiculous, man. Well, you see, all you have to go is, you know, meet the demon god and somehow fucking... It was a demon god, right? I'm not sure. The purple-haired girl. That just get a demon eye. Simple as that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we know her. What's up? Uh-huh. Nyaruhudo. <laughs> Bye-bye. She keeps calling us boss. It's kind of cute. No, you don't want to know. Maybe she wouldn't judge us. I don't... I... Bro, how are you just going to show a girl... I... We're a follower of Roxy. No, don't, don't. <laughs> I feel like... Oh, her ears are twitching, but you don't want to see that, Roxy. Oh, sorry, Sophie. Your eyes? Oh. Huh? Huh? My dick? Never mind. Okay. She can't do it, right? She can't do it. It's too soon. Come on, you got me worked up for nothing. Bye, Fit Senpai. Oh, Fit Senpai so cool. Rudy, is the dick working? I bet your dick would have twitched, bro. I bet it would start working again, bro. You were so close to fixing the erectile dysfunction, but it is what it is. If buying child slaves wasn't enough for you guys last episode, this episode, we just kidnapped two beast girls. Damn, Rudy. Like, I get it. You know, destroying the Roxy figurine, that is, that is, a, that is a cardinal sin, right? We got to show them what's up, but... I don't know. He was like low key racist there to the beast. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that all you can say? It's like, what the fuck? And the fact that he was groping them just to test, right? He told Sophie, I touched, I groped their tits, but not like that. No, 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 Sophie. It wasn't like that. It was more like a test to see if my dick would work. And I'm telling you, man, if Fit Senpai took the glasses, the shades off there, Rudy probably would have a dick working and it would have been fucking amazing. I can't wait for the moment where like he realizes that, oh shit, this is Sophie. My God, dude. When is that going to happen? We'll see. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.